It's been, what, two years since I last posted? From what I remember, at least. It's been two years, but it's been five, five years that I've owned this car. So, it's, uh, sh you know, she's on her original rotors and pads. And I could tell you right now, after kind of working it a little hard, um, she's a little hot spotted after five years. So it's right about that time that I need to go change these pads and rotors for something, you know, better and grippier than uh, what I had or have, which are OEM pads and rotors. So right now I am working on putting together, or actually Doug, my brother, is working on putting together the pads. Um, so what he's doing right now is he's using this. It's a ceiling compound, which basically makes it not squeal. It is called stop steel or stop squeal. He's putting on the pads. You can tell that these are kind of treated. They're not as rough as the uh, what the finish looked like before. So what it does is basically it stops these Brembos from squeaking so much, which anybody who has Brembos and or larger piston calipers and whatnot, they will squeak if you're not hard on them and if you're daily driving it like I do with this car. This car is daily driven, which it now, currently, this car actually has 71 to 72,000 miles currently, which I think uh, after owning it for five years, I think it's about time I changed the pads and rotors and I'm planning on actually think, I'm actually planning on maybe going on track at Coda, maybe sometime either later this year or maybe next year, we'll see. But this is kind of just prep for that. It's uh, getting these pads all together. So I got front and rear hawk pads 5.0. These are streetable pads, which are nice. And I will show you later the rotors that I chose to go with, which is what I chose last time when I had my ST. So uh, look forward to that. Right now I got to work on putting this guy on jack stands, which was why I have the jack set up here, but I just need to break them loose because yes, I have an LSD in this car. So if I raise it and try to take these off while it's in the air, it's not great. So I just gotta break these loose real quick and then we'll snap to that. Those are all hot spots. And you must be wondering how I got these hot spots. Well, you see what had happened was, racing around or driving sporty, then uh, this will happen often. Uh, back rear, or the rear brakes obviously will not get the same amount of spotting is because obviously most of your braking is done with the front. So I have to change these now because uh, if I were to push this harder and nail the brakes harder uh, with minimal pad that I have left, which is over here, um, <laughs> I would probably crack these things and uh, I need to be able to stop. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the, the rotors and pads all together. Uh, in the two years that I haven't posted, I've had to change the suspension again. Uh, Fortune Auto 500s, they're a little, a little dirty. I mean, again, this car is dr daily driven. Don't worry about that blue mark. That was where we started. This is where we locked it in. So that is what that blue mark stands for. We, we kind of mark everything when I retorque it. So there's blue marks all over the place now in here. Um, but yeah, these are Fortune Auto 500s. These are using the stock suspension setup, which I remember, or stock spring setup from Fortune Auto. And from what I remember, Fortune Auto sends these out with 700K springs on the front, and they have 600K springs on the rear. So this is the 500 series, not the 510s or the 520s. The 510s I'm probably not gonna do unless I'm gonna be serious about track days with this car, which I don't think I will. So, I mean, for street setup, it's perfectly fine to use this. It is a little stiffer than stock, Sure, but it rides more comfortably than the stock suspension. Anyway, I digress. So, we're gonna get back into it. Um, to get your rotors, or get to your rotors, there's two bolts back here on the back of the rotor. The bolts that you need to get to are back here. I'm trying to put my camera in the right angle. See these two right there? There, I'll go from underneath. This one, the one I'm touching, and that one. That is what connects your caliper to the knuckle assembly. And then once that's off, you can take this whole 
thing out of the way. If you wanted to do street pads, which these are OEM pads, and you can definitely see that this pad needs to get changed. Look at this. Very little pad on here left. On the inner pad, though, it looks like it still has some life left. <laughs> the outer pad, <laughs> not so much. But if you were to, to want to change these for any reasons, just the pads, you can pop these pins out. So you get a punch, you get this. You pop this pin out, this pin comes out. Do the same thing on this pin, this comes out. This clip will be able to come out after you obviously take this bolt out as well. Once you take this bolt out, then you can get this out of the way and the pads will literally pull out. Jeez. All right, we'll go to three. Let's try this out. Bam, look at that. There we go. Hi boys, and I'm gonna need to blue lock type these things, but they're technically supposed to be replaced. And then wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Come on. <laughs> Kinda sucks when you have pads in there. All right, with the caliper up and out of the way, most of the time, these are kind of locked in place, but if you wiggle or use your comprehensive persuader, you can hit it and it'll come right off. But in this case, I'm just wiggling it off and there you go, there's your rotor. Oh man, look how <laughs> spotted this thing is. It's pretty, pretty crazy. Man, that's nuts. So that's the bad rotor. Ugh, she's all had it and she's got a groove, nice little groove on there. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick it up enough. There's a groove here, you can kind of hear it. Yeah, you can kind of hear that, but there's a groove that's been cut and you can see from the where it used to be to where it's at now. There's a big groove in there. Yeah, it's her time. She needs to go. Thanks for the good five years, buddy. But I think it's time to see our new rotor, don't you think? So, I ordered brand new StopTech rotors for this car. Oh, and these are not the plain surface. These are actually... Slotted. These are slotted rotors. I decided to go slotted because that's what I had last time and they actually have better cooling performance, better braking as well than the OEM because these are flat, plain, versus slotted. Should be loose enough. It comes off. One. I've seen people actually grease those up, take it off, but. I don't know if I want to do that. Cause that's out of the way, it should be easy just to, oh, I'll just push. There you go. So this is reverse, flat edge to flat edge, flat edge to flat edge, when you put it back on. And this is a spring, so this was sitting like this. And this has to hold this in as well, so I'm just gonna remember upward. And then now, you should be able to actually just wiggle these suckers out. Or just fall out, that's fine. Ugh. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I didn't have much left on the out, uh, outer side. <laughs> and start ratcheting it back. Just watch the pistons. Make sure it goes all the way back. And then stuff your new pads in. There it goes, all the way back. And now I can go get my new pads and put them on. So it stops. Once you stop, double check, make sure it doesn't pop out. Yep. Yep. This one's gonna be fun because I gotta pop it in this way. And I gotta hold the spring back. And then push again. I remember flat edge to flat edge and I messed that up already. Flat edge to flat edge. And push in. On the back, you got these caps that are back here. I kinda pried that one off already. So you just kinda get them off. And back here, there's hex keys that are in here. I think they're a five or an eight mil on back here. And you take this off, this half comes away, and then you have two bolts in the back, which are Torx on the back here. I do believe that these are T40s or 45s on the back. Back again, battery died on the camera. Had to go change that. Also, we had to go to the store and pick up a brake caliper, uh, yes, this tool. 
and these prongs are there so that way it goes into the piston and you're supposed to turn it so it retracts the pistons as you see it's all the way out so what to do for both sides i already changed the rotor on this side and i've already changed the rotor on this side while i was waiting so i'm gonna go get back to it and i am gonna go and push this piston back in on both sides and then i gotta put the pads back in which they're sitting right here and then reassemble all this put this back in all right now with the caliper back on after being retracted i put the uh, i put some grease on those pins if you can see put those grease on the pins right that go through here you torque it down and then of course when you put the pads on the spring portion of it it's gonna be in the back, on the backhand side. And then there's a spring that goes on the front, which is here. This spring goes in this orientation right here. Oh, just like that, as I'm pushing the prong out. So I'll push the two pins in first, pull the wing out, push pin in, wing out. You push it all the way until it stops. And there you go. Now the clip is back in, just like this. And now it's not going anywhere. And there you go. Now I can take this lug nut off and I can get this wheel back on. Torque these wheels to 100. And we should be done. This should be back on the ground. I forgot to mention the bolt on the back for the caliper to the hub. It's actually an E12 socket that's on there. It's a star interior like this. And it's an E12 socket, and it comes in a kit like this from Craftsman, typically. So it's an E12. That's what we had to use for that that bolt that's on the back for the hub right here. Not this one. That's a hex key. This one. It's on the interior. now done he's already done with all that so now I have to bed in these brakes which look snazzy and new nice slotted rotors in the front and nice slotted rotors in the back but yeah that's about it for today's video uh, it's been a long time since I actually done a vlog like this so I hope you guys liked it if so hit that like button also hit that subscribe also share with your friends if you want to learn how to do other projects just like this where you do brake rotors as well as brake pads on this car it's very very easy uh, hopefully i'll have some more to do videos or how to do videos and or vlogs if so make sure you guys comment uh our brother is here too so uh he'll be in the videos as well uh that's about it thanks for watching this is nick from U cars i will check you guys later the cornerstone I know that I can't be without you this bond is solid gold we're a diamond and an emerald it took me forever to find you